Hey, my company is just finishing this beautiful Spanish colonial style house with local architect Rick O'Donnell. And I want to talk to you today about tile roofs. You've heard me in the past extol the benefits of a metal roof, especially if you're in Texas or the southern U.S., but today I want to talk to you about tile roofs and why I like them really for any climate zone in the U.S. Clay tile, which is really the original tile roof, has been around literally for centuries. There's roofs in Europe that are several hundred years old that have the original clay tile roofs on. They're incredibly UV resistant. They're also hail resistant, which is important to us here in the southern U.S. Um, they're super durable, they're fire resistant, really an amazing material. There's a couple things you need to know about tile though. Number one, there's two types of tile. There's clay tile and there's concrete tile. This roof behind me is a concrete tile roof. Uh, this is Hanson tile we're using. It was put on by Kid Roofing here in Austin who does all my roofing. But there's, there's some big differences between clay and concrete. Clay is the type of tile that you're seeing on those European houses that's really been around for several hundred years or, or several centuries rather. Clay is a super durable product. It's totally UV resistant. It's very uh, impervious to water. It doesn't soak up nearly as much as a concrete tile will. So if you're in an area that has free, freeze thaw cycle issues, clay is a better choice. Concrete is a newer material that hasn't been on the market for that length of time, but it's gonna give you a really good value in a tile roof. A concrete tile is gonna be about 20% less weight but frankly, you're gonna save almost half the cost of the install, of the total install that is, on a concrete tile versus a uh, clay tile. Let's talk about durability. You know, a concrete tile roof, if you do it right and you really maintain it, you're talking about at least a 50 year durability. You may even see longer than that. If you put a true clay tile roof on and you do the details correctly with copper flashing or stainless steel flashings, really top line uh, underlayments, you're gonna see really a lifetime product that could be on your building way beyond your life and maybe even in your grandchildren's lifetimes. Both are fantastic choices. Let's get up close on this roof and I'm gonna to talk to you about a few of the details. Next, let me talk to you about the best practices when you install this roof. You know, one of the great things about a tile roof is that this is a vented roof. So we've got air circulation underneath this. That's incredibly important. But even more important is to remember that tile roofs will leak. There's gonna be water that's gonna get past this tile. And ultimately that roof is your UV protector for your underlayment, which is really doing the heavy lifting when it comes to waterproofing your roof. So you really need to choose the best practices on everything when it comes to installing that tile roof. If you're in Texas and you're gonna be doing a conditioned attic with spray foam, you need to choose a fully adhered, non-vapor permeable underlayment like Carlisle's WIP 300 HD. And if you're in other parts of the country, or you're venting underneath that roof, you might choose a different underlayment, but you really need to make sure you're using best practices for all those things. If you'd like more information on any of this, you can look for my playlist on YouTube on roofing, or you can go to my blog at mattreisinger.com. Thanks for joining me, we'll see you next time.